fucking intro, man. Let's just go. I come around like what goes around. What goes up must come down. Anyone who comes up must go down. Might as well go for the gusto now. Better not let up. Better not let them breathe. Let's not give it all you. What's up guys, Joe Khan for today with some spots for you guys on uh, Kai 4 Remastered. Now these are all going to be for mainly uh, Search and Destroy. They work for any game type, but they're geared toward Search and Destroy in particular. So the first spot I ambush, you can obviously hang on in this little section, but the next spot, what I'm doing right now, was find by me and Zombie Killer KJ. And basically just do a straight forward here, and you can see all over this area, all down that alleyway. You can see their uh, sniper tower area. Uh, you can see back towards your spawn area, but you can really see B very well. Uh, you can see down, like I said, the uh, alleyway you can see in that sniper tower there, basically. And it's just, it's really good for covering B. Uh, I use it a lot lately. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And uh, I try to get into this next building, but you can't. And, um, yeah, it sucks. Anyways, next spot, everyone already knows it, but you basically just jump on the uh, trash can, then jump, pull yourself up, and you can sit in here. And, again, see their sniper tower area. You can see that building, sniper tower area. Uh, you can jump around on this spot. I'm gonna have this spot speed up because you know everyone already knows how to do this part. Uh, but I figured I'd throw it in there anyways for the people that never played COD 4. Now I will have uh, part two and maybe part three and four. I'm not sure how many uh, sections I'm gonna break this up into, depending on the length. I don't want to make it like you know 15 and 20 minutes long. But well, next thing you can do is I fail. Actually, I didn't know I didn't cut that part out, but hey, it's too late now. I'm too tired to fucking edit it anymore. But you can see over here, uh, you can see inside this building and cover A, I'm sorry, B really well. And you can also uh, somewhat cover A from over here. But uh, most people plant B, actually I don't think I've ever had anyone plant A on Remastered yet on this map. Uh, next spot is on the opposite side, so if you're on the uh, Marine spawn, and you basically just come up here. And you can already just sit in this spot, but if you do an RPG jump, don't shoot it at the wood. Make sure you shoot it down here in that little spot. Otherwise, you'll blow yourself up, and then from here, you're going to want to go prone pretty quick. Sometimes people will see you. Then you can pick off people there. You can get off people there in their spawn uh, in that area. You can get people in all the other glitches I showed you, basically. You can also do a straight to this tree. Uh, you can stand over here. And you can see over here, the only problem is that you're exposed from your back and side, but you can still cover the bomb pretty good. And uh, yeah, you can jump up here and do an alternative entrance, or way up here, which I use those all the time. And I forgot to edit out the fails. But anyways, yeah. So just two extra strafe across to here. And you can snipe from up here, it's pretty dope. Uh, I don't really use this spot a lot, because a lot of people see it, and you kind of on the open. The other ones is the building rubble to hide you. You can also strafe to here. And uh, you can do an RPG strafe across, but you don't think you can do that in ranked games. I think you'll kill yourself uh, if you try it. But yeah, next spot, and this isn't that great as on back lot, but you can jump here. And then do an RPG jump, to make sure you aim it out there. And you can get on top of here. And then you can spray from here. If you do this really fast in the beginning of the map, you can pick you off there and everything. But this wasn't the greatest, but I wanted to throw it in there anyways. Um, there's a couple other spots I could have shown, but they're kind of too hard to do on search. So this next spot on bug, I use this all the time. So you want to throw a grenade in between that pole and the tree like this. And if you do it right, it will literally land right on the bomb, basically. You can see the smoke. Uh, I didn't get over there in time. I think I'm going to throw a stun in a second. Yeah, so here we go. In between this uh, pole here and this tree here. Okay, throw the grenade anywhere in between there. Even if you throw it over that uh, post right there, and you'll see. Okay, you saw where it landed. It landed right there by the uh, bomb. So if they tried to do the little thing that they plant outside the cage... And then you can snipe from right here, and you can't see them the whole time, but if they pop around that corner, you got them. And also, if they plant the bomb, and you have your scope on there, if you shoot, a lot of times you'll hit them right through the wall and kill them, and I've done that before, right? As soon as they're done planning, you know, since the bomb has been planted, you shoot, and you get them. You can also uh, jump up here and get them through this area. You can shoot through this crack. Uh, it's pretty decent. And I, I use all these spots, honestly, that I'm showing you, that I use all the time. So if you play against ranked against me, and uh, you haven't just seen this video, I'm probably going to be fucked because you're going to know the spots, and you're going to kill me. But whatever. Sorry, I was answering a message. Slash Snapchat. Uh, anyways, so this next part here, if you go on this little uh, fire bolt or bucket or whatever, and you back up so you can pull yourself up, you will be able to pull yourself up, obviously. 
and you get on here and you know it's not the greatest spot uh, you can kind of be you're pretty exposed but you can use it really quick and then you get down I wouldn't stay up here for too long though because you like I said you're pretty exposed and you'll get shot and killed and you don't want that especially playing search because you know getting killed in team deathmatch is one thing but getting killed in search makes me ten times more sour because you only get one spawn And you can obviously jump along here. Now, if you're on the other spawn, uh, I always run and jump to this little trash can and fail. Just get it. Jump to the trash can. And then uh, you can pick them off as they're running across. And they're sniping right there in that spawn area. Um, that one I use all the time. I don't really use this spot here where you can jump on this garbage can. Uh, but it does work good. I just, you know, I just don't like to use it. I basically I do the same thing almost every game. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm pretty predictable. And you can go prone in here and hide in this little brush area. Um, and snipe from here. And then normally what I do is I jump in that first trash can I showed you from this side. And I run over here and hide behind this garbage can. And then go prone. And you can see their spawn where they're sniping there. Pick them off. You can pick them off here. Uh, you can come to the other side and do the same thing. And, you know, if you're hiding in that grass, it's hard for them to see you. And then the last map we're going to do is crossfire for this video. And as soon as the game starts and spawns, run here on this side. And you can see people running through this uh, hole. And if you get them, you can snipe them. And uh, people get pretty pissed because they're like, how the fuck do you see me? And you can just barely see them as they're running through that crack. So you have a small window. You can also see all the way over there. Uh, next spot is if you're on this team, but you're coming to the side and there's somebody camping. You jump to the car, jump here, jump here, pull yourself up. And now you're in the building and you can kill them when they're camping on the stairs. And it works really good. People get pissed when you do it, but uh, yeah, it works really well, you know. Next thing is another alternative entrance. You're gonna come up on this little uh, broken wall, and if they're hiding in there, you just jump and pull yourself up into this building. And if they're camping on these stairs, there or there, you can get them. Also, I do it anyways, just so if they're camping behind that garbage can that I'm gonna jump to. Uh, if they're camping in that area, they won't really expect it as much. Especially if they have claymores, and then you can jump to here and hide in this spot here instead of being on the floor, and they won't really expect it. You can also see them coming, uh, and just be careful they can't see from there. Uh, next spot, I see you come to here and jump to this spot here, and this isn't very good, but I just figured I'd throw it in there. Jump to there, and you can get them when they're across. And the last spot for this video is you're just going to jump to this uh, thing here, jump in here, and you can snipe from here. And I use this almost every game. Um, like I said, pretty much every spot I showed you, besides the ones I said I don't use, I use all the time in rank. And they do work very well. Um, and yeah, you can throw grenades from here, you can see in there. And you know, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe and uh, comment below for what you guys want next. Uh, I have to record, there's a teleport glitch, Pop, you guys probably already seen it, but I did the recording of it, I just have to uh, finish the video, I need a third person, I need three people to do it, and uh, <coughs> yeah, that's basically it, so thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time, Joy Kong 94 out.